in this video i'm going to show you how you can apply a pattern to an image so without any further ado let's get started so let us import the photo we want to edit Our aim here is to apply some kind of pattern to the shell of this snail. So the first thing to do is to isolate the shell. And I'm going to do that using the quick selection tool. So let me just select through the shell really quickly. now i'm done making the selection so let's just make a copy of what we just selected and as you can see we now have the entire shell in its own layer Let's just deselect this selection. Now that everything is in place, the next thing to do is to make a copy of the shell because we're going to need it later. Now let's import the image we planned to use as the shell. But before we do that, let's turn off this layer and go to the bottom layer. And now we can simply import the image. I would love to use a camouflage for this. I'll position it to the point where it can cover the entire shell. Just hit OK when you are satisfied with the current position. As you can see, the pattern image is in between the shell and the original image because that's what we want. So let's clear the pattern from the areas we don't want it to appear. And since we have already made the selection of the shell, we don't need to do that again. Click on any of the shell image above. Let's make it visible so we can see it. Now click on this icon at the top and click on select pieces. And from here, you can turn the shell layer back off and make the pattern layer active. So let's click on this icon again. But this time we click on extract. As you can see, we now have it just around the shell area, which is exactly what we want. Now to give this pattern some dimension, we make use of those shell layer we made earlier. So let's make the first shell layer on and active. Do make sure the selection is still active. If not, you can go and select pieces. Now let's apply some effect to this in order to bring out the dimension. At first, we click on this icon and we click on stylize. And when you get to this point, you click on threshold. And through this tool, we can add some shadows and highlights. So let's start first by adding a shadow. Since we want to be working on the shadow at first, 
Let's remove the highlight by clicking on the back color. And let's reduce the opacity all the way to 0%. And from here, you can work on the smoothness and the threshold to your taste. And you can simply click OK once you are satisfied. Now to add in an highlight, we'll make use of the second shell image. Also make sure the selection is still active. If not, you know what to do. And following our previous steps, we we'll landed on our threshold tool again. But this time, we don't need the shadows because we have already created it. So we're going to need an highlight. So let's remove the shadows by taking the foreground color down. And let's change the opacity of the back color to 100%. I will also play with the threshold and the smoothness until I get satisfied. And once you're done, you know what to do, you click OK.